Hi, I'm Ben Gaines from Adobe Analytics Product Management, and in this video I want to talk about the different containers that you can use when building segments in Adobe Analytics. Uh, containers are a really important concept when you're segmenting your data um, because they're going to control the scope or the, the way that uh, the data is queried uh, so that uh, you, you, have, you have better control over what actually comes back and you can make sure that you're segmenting your data the way that you intend to segment your data. Uh, there are three types of containers that Adobe Analytics offers and the easiest way to see them all is right here in this uh, show drop-down in the segment builder. Uh, the first one and the most granular one is hit and then you have visit and then you have visitor. And to see the impact of changing the uh, container, let's we're going to use the uh, the segment preview here in the upper right, uh, and that'll that'll let us see how the data that we're getting back, the data set that Adobe Analytics is actually returning to us, changes as we change the container. And uh, hopefully that'll help us master the the way that we use uh, containers and segments. So as I mentioned, the most granular uh, container type is hit, and uh, to demonstrate this, I'm going to use a very simple segment defined as uh, page equals home. Now when you have the hit container applied, the way to kind of read this is that the data set is going to, the data set with this segment applied is going to be comprised of all hits where the page name equals home. In other words, all hits to the home page. Uh, now hit can mean page view, it can mean uh, link click, really it, it's, it's server call or any time that data is being sent into Adobe Analytics. In this case, since we're talking about page name, uh, it's, it's going to essentially mean page views. So uh, my data set that returns is going to be all of the page views where my page name equals home or you know all views of my home page. Uh, you can see that reflected here in the preview. I've got about, uh, in the last 90 days, I've had about 2.6 million page views on my site and about 143,000 of those were on the home page, which seems about right intuitively. And we can also, uh, just because you're using a hit container doesn't mean that the visits and unique visitors metrics aren't valid. Uh, what this is saying is that um, there were 97, almost you know, 97 and a half thousand visits um, that had a hit where, uh, where the, the home, uh, had a hit on the home page and about 81,000 unique visitors that, uh, that saw the home page during that time period. Now, uh, where this becomes really, uh, really uh, relevant is that um, anything else that happened during those visits and unique visitors, uh, during those visits, uh, or you know, for that for those unique visitors, won't be included in this segment because I have hit uh, selected as my container. So, uh, if I had a visitor who viewed the home page and then viewed the product page, any of the d any of the data that was collected on the product page will not be included in this in this segment. None of that data will be included in this segment um, because we're only, again, we're only looking at the page views uh, that occurred on the home page and we get we get back from that request all of the data that uh, that was collected on the home page. So I can still run my referring domains reports or my use, you know, the campaign variable in a project uh, and those will work but but only for data that was captured on on the home page. Now uh, let's move up to the visit container, and when I do that, I want you to watch the segment preview because it's going to change pretty significantly. So the number of visits uh, increased only slightly. The number of unique visitors, I think, uh, very, very slightly increased. But the number of page views um, increased uh, dramatically. And uh, the reason for that um, is that when you say visit, uh, you're now including all of the data from any visit that saw the home page. Whereas with hit, you were looking at data collected from just that home page. Now you're looking at everything that happened before the home page was viewed and after the home page was viewed during any visit where the home page was viewed. So for example, if a user uh, clicked on a campaign that I'm running and landed on a different landing page, not my home page, uh, and then they uh, viewed a few product pages, and then they finally clicked over to my home page. Uh, all of that data would be included in this segment, and that's why the page view number increases dramatically. Because now all of those other page views that occurred during the visit 
um, are included in this segment and are returned in, that, in this segment. Often uh, users of Adobe Analytics who are newer to segmentation will um, build a, a segment using the visit container uh, to, to do something like this where they, they have a page in there and then they'll run a pages report or use the page dimension in a project and wonder why there are all of these other pages showing up when clearly they, they specified in the segment that you know, they wanted where page equals home. Well, now you all know the reason why. It's because all of those other page views are included. Any visit uh, that saw the home page in this case, or you know, whatever other dimension you choose, would be included in here uh, as well. Now, let's look lastly at the visitor container. And, and again, watch the, watch the preview when I make the change. You'll see, uh, you, what you should see is the number of page views uh, should, should increase a little bit. The number of visits should increase. Uh, and let's see if that's what happens. Yep, exactly, uh, exactly what I expected. Uh, the reason is very similar to what we saw in the previous example going from hit to visit. Visitor, the visitor container includes every, all of the data from any visitor who had any visit that ever saw the home page in this case. So uh, let's say you have a visitor who during the last 90 days here, is, it's our date range here, last 90 days uh, has made five visits to the site, to, to my site. And they only viewed the home page during one of those visits, maybe the, the second visit. On all the other visits, they went straight to product pages or other landing pages. All of that visitor's data, all five visits, are going to be included in this segment. Um, not just the visit where they saw the home page, that's what the visit container is for, but all of that visitor's data. So this is really useful for doing, the visitor container is really useful for doing um, analysis over a long period of time where maybe you want to see uh, you know, visitors who responded to a certain campaign, what did they do over the next, over the next five months? Uh, and so you can use a visitor container and say, you know, visitors who uh, saw a certain campaign and then apply that uh, over a, a long period of time and you get, uh, you get all of the data for those visitors um, so that you can, you know, see things that, see, see behaviors that you uh, wouldn't be able to see if you were only looking, uh, for example, at the visit where they saw the campaign in question or the, the page in question. So really it's, as I mentioned at the beginning, it's all about the scope of the data and the question that you're trying to answer. Sometimes you want to do visit level analysis. Sometimes you want to um, see all of the data for a page, uh, you know, for um, a, certain, uh, a certain dimension or a certain metric, uh, and you only want to see data that was captured at that same time, and that's, that's where hit would come in. Uh, visit, in the previous example, where you're doing visit-based analysis, where you want to see, for example, certain paths and then visitor for longer term analysis where you want all of the data for any visitor who matched that segment. This is definitely something that uh, takes a little bit of getting used to, but once you uh, once you got the hang of it, you'll be a, a segment ninja and you'll be able to slice and dice your data uh, with great ease and, uh, and do the analysis.